Yeah. All right, we're going to get started. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Where are you from? I am from Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas? D-Town? Okay, okay, Dallas. <laughs> when did you first start playing football? Started playing football when I was, I want to say, six years old, six or seven years old. Started did you play any? No, I played uh, back when I was in Virginia. I used to live in Virginia for a little bit. Uh, so I uh, played Pop, Pop, mm, Pop Warner there. Okay, okay. Yeah. Did you play any other sports? Played wrestling. Uh, I wrestled. Uh, wrestled? Yeah. Uh, okay. Played a little basketball, and that's it. Okay. Okay, the wrestling go with the football, the tough part of it. Yeah. Was you good at basketball? No, I was not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Understandable. I yes, I definitely was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> All right. Um. Was you heavily recruited coming out of high school? I had, yeah. I, I would like to say I, I was. I had five offers uh, coming out of high school. Uh, okay. chose, chose the best school in the world. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, why did you choose that school? Why well, did you choose Arkansas? It was, it was closer to home. Uh, it was only like a four or five hour drive. Uh, they were, at the time, they were ranked third. So it was uh, pretty good. And plus the atmosphere and the fans were awesome as, as well. Woo pig. Woo pig too. <laughs> who is your who was your inspiration growing up? Well, my father was definitely heavy in my life, so he was definitely a big inspiration with everything I did. Um I also I would like to say my my father. He was the biggest one. Your dad played in NFL too, right? Yeah, he did for a little while. Okay, okay. Oh, father and son. I see you, I see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> What um, did you like most about Arkansas besides football? I definitely like, one, I like the relationships that I built, built there between my teammates and uh, students, athletes, and other sports. Obviously, I met my wife there, so that was awesome what? as well. Oh, you're married? Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, oh. then, uh, and then uh, along with that, uh, I love the seasons, how how the seasons fall, how the different seasons change, and like how yeah. the trees look on the city. So, those yeah. are some of the things that I just like. Yeah. Hey, you like some cool stuff. Okay, Arkansas. <laughs> 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 what was your most memorable game from Arkansas at Arkansas? It would have to be the LSU game, the one where all the fans stormed the field. Uh, I, oh, say okay. was, I don't I remember was, that one. Is it? I think it was 15, I want to say. 15 or 6, 16, but one of the two. Uh, uh, the LSU, uh, LSU game, we beat them. And all of a sudden, once we stormed the field, the fans broke, broke the fence down, and they stormed the field, and it was, it was, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> I bet that was. Like... <laughs> all right. Um, do you think Arkansas helped prepare you for the NFL? Most definitely. Definitely things um, in football and outside of football. Uh I got hurt a few times throughout my career at Arkansas, so it definitely helped me um, become resilient, learn how to play through through uh, injuries, learn how to become a professional with my body, with uh, keeping up maintenance, rehab, soft tissue work, stuff like like that. Um, outside the field, learning to, um, I just just like I guess, I guess in a nutshell, I became mentally tough in both on the field mm. and outside the field. Okay, good. Okay, okay, Arkansas. <laughs> you got nothing yeah, yeah, but good stuff yeah, yeah. about Arkansas. I love that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, what's your work ethic like? What was your work ethic like in like college? Well, definitely had a. I like to say I pretty had a really good work ethic. I always wanted to be really good or be one of the best at, at what I did. So I always trained. Um, we we used to have our early morning workouts, which I always loved. I always did stuff after. Um, practice or uh, on, on the off days to to either strengthen myself or fine tune my skills, and I carried that same thing, uh, that same work work ethic uh, at Arkansas and in the league. Okay, you still got it now. You okay? Yeah. Good, good, yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> All right, what number did you go in the draft? You got drafted, right? Yes, fourth round. What number? Did, fourth round. What number? 
um, uh, 131st pick. Okay, how was that when you got your name called? It was awesome. It was a uh, very, very elated feeling. Uh, it felt like uh, I don't know. It just felt very joyful. The whole room was 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 screaming and happy. So it was a yeah. wonderful feeling. Yeah. Has it always been a dream to play in the NFL? Yes, it has. Okay. Yeah. All right, so what is your most memorable game from the NFL? The Super Bowl. <laughs> well, that was I would like to say that one. That was the uh my first Super Bowl was was a pretty was a really good one. Um definitely winning that one was was awesome. Uh from the time it started to the to the weeks to the weeks leading up to it, to the game, to the very end, it was all memorable. Uh, I enjoyed every, I enjoyed every play, every practice we had. It was awesome, and then we we won on top of that, so it was definitely great. <laughs> okay. And hey, how do you uh, recover from a loss? Definitely looking at the plays that you you played in a game, um, going back and. And just kind of like reflecting on everything it's yourself, what what you feel like you did wrong or right, and improving that, and just learning that uh, when when we when you do take when, we, when you do play in games that you don't win, it's a lesson in, instead of a loss. So learning from the things that uh, you didn't win win from, and then moving forward and improving it. Okay. Okay. Have you ever been discouraged? Has there ever been time you've been discouraged in your, in your career? I would like to say more so in college than than the high school, uh, than a, in the league. Um, after I got hurt uh, for the second time, I kind of I went went through a little sad phase. It was like my sophomore year, and then uh, ended up bouncing back. But uh, it was if, if, if for a moment I was kind of down. But uh, uh, thanks to my pops and my teammates around me, uh, I got back up. Okay, good. <laughs> what well, um. Okay. Um, what do you want to do after football? Well, I definitely want to do a few businesses. Uh, haven't really pinpointed yet, but I'm trying to look at some avenues that I really want to do. Definitely want to, uh, to further my clothing line uh, and my foundation of, of Wise Up. So I want to continue. Oh, you got your own clothing line? Yes. Oh, it's called it's Wise Up? Yes, it's wise. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I like that. Catch you last in this week. I like that. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, what is your main goal, individual and team wise, for the rest of the season? Just give it everything I have, uh, every play, um, so that I can help my teammates bring up, bring home the win. Or uh, definitely want to go out there and and uh, give my all every single play. So. That's kind of what, what I want to do uh, to finish out this season strong. Okay, good. Okay, so you do you eat healthy? Yes, I do. So you do. Okay, yeah. talk about the what, any importance the importance on that since being a professional athlete. Because I know well, I don't eat healthy. Well, you know, professional. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not you're not a professional athlete, but at the same time, eating healthy is a good thing. Um, I definitely eat healthy, but no meat. Uh, I definitely no meat. Uh, no, yeah, I don't, I don't need any meat. So are uh, you a vegetarian? A vegan, yeah. Oh, we be a vegan. Yeah, I, like, vegan. Like say, I like to say plant based, not really vegan, but uh, yeah. So anyway, I like I like to uh, make sure that I'm getting all my nutrients in, protein shakes. Definitely like like to get um, uh, my big breakfast in in the morning to help me feel me throughout the day. So I, I do I do pretty big big portions to at least like three or four meals. Peace. Example of a real athlete right here. A healthy real <laughs> athlete. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right, so I have like a few more questions and do you mind asking questions for other people if they left some on here towards the end? A few, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, that. Okay, so I just have like three more. All right, so can you cook? And what is your special dish if you can? Not saying I'm I'm a world renowned chef, but I do like to cook. <laughs> I do like oh, okay. to cook. Uh my favorite one is uh eggs eggplant parmesan. Uh so that's that's one of my one of my favorite ones. Yeah. 
like being fried or something like okay no, nah, so so uh how how i make it is uh i definitely soak i soak the eggplants in some water for a little bit after that uh -huh. i batter them i, I uh put them in flour put them in put them in uh in uh bread crumbs and then uh on top of that i stack them up and then like layer them with uh vegan cheese or in a marinara sauce put them in the Ooh. oven them okay in yeah, and, and it sounds good. Yeah, yeah, really good. All right. Are you involved in any community projects? Well, through my, through my, my foundation, Wise Up, we do a few uh, community outreach programs or, 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 or things that we do. Uh, it's all good. We have, um, we did a block party the other day, uh, last oh. year, where we ended up like just spreading positivity in the neighborhood, providing free haircuts and food for for uh the kids in the neighborhood. Um anything that that the Patriots do, I try to re reach a hand out and help out with that, whether it's hospital visits, kids visits, etc. So I try to do things like that as much as possible. Okay, good. All right. Um what uh do you want people to remember you for besides football? Uh that every time you saw him he uh, was always in, in a good mood. Always, uh, always gre greeted you with positivity and and always left you smiling. Okay. All right. My last question: What advice do you have out there for um, athletes out there, high school athletes. and college athletes? Yeah, okay. high school. Uh, and college. I guess anybody who's listening to this, I would like to say: always work on your skills daily. Um, always learn how to take your skills to the next level, year after year, game after game. Um, whether whether you're starting out or you've been doing this for a long time, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you start. It all matters how you finish, and you, and you you want to finish strong. Um, lean on the people around you, whether it's your your teammates or any older uh, figures in your life, coaches or parents, because they always been through a lot more than than you have. So they'll give you good advice, and uh, always give your best in everything you do. All right, I like that advice. Good advice. Thank you. All right, so here's a question. Here's a, a question. Um, do you watch anime? Yes, I do. What show? Yeah, my favorite one is One Piece. One Piece? Yes, yeah. Okay. <laughs> if anybody okay. watches it, they know that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to look that one up. Okay. <laughs> um, if you could have any wide receiver join the Pacers, uh, who would you want to join? If you want to answer that. Oh, I'll probably uh, let me see. I don't know. Uh, it would have to be like a legend, you know what I'm saying? Like, like someone like like Randy Moss or like Megatron or somebody, you know? Guy go with the NFL legends. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's one more. Do you have any creative outlets that help? that help you during your emotional time in your life? Creative outlets? Um, yeah. I definitely go walking. I do, um, I like to draw or like color, like me, me and my wife like to do little coloring books, or whatever. Uh, we go for, for, for walks. Um, if not, if, if all this fails, we just walk, pop in a movie and go to sleep. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, but one of those two. Okay, okay. I think that was okay. Um, this one more. I think it's over. Uh, how you gain weight being put based? Because someone said they lost weight during that transition. Uh, more calories and in, uh, increase your calories. So whatever you're doing, eat more of it and uh, continue to, to to work out and run. I try to do shakes. At least, um, I want to say, like two or three shakes a day. Mm. Like protein shakes. Or yeah. Like protein uh, shakes. And smoothies. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I think that might have been the last question. I see. Do you see any on there? Do I see who? Um. Uh, yeah. Do you see any questions? Oh. Um. Mm, I don't see. It's I'm that you want to answer, so. Nah, it's all good for me. Yeah. 
All right. Well, thank you for doing this interview with me. I really appreciate you. No problem. Thanks for, for in, inviting me. I love the interview. No problem. Right. No problem. All right. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. You too. All right, you guys. Thank you for joining Just With The Press. Tune in next week to see my special guest.